Hi, welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Topperwein. Packaging is an important part of every product's design. And I'm Vince Penman. In today's show, we'll show you a machine that can pack any product without supervision for eight hours. Say you need to package a product for shipment. Typically, workers wait around for a product to arrive before they start building boxes to fit the product. That means the products sit around while the boxes get built. We spoke with Roberto Dolce, Chief Information Officer for System Group, about a new autonomous packaging system his team designed. Roberto's team realized that to develop an autonomous packaging machine, they had to have a digital representation of the product's dimensions and weight before it reached the packaging facility. This data is captured on a unique barcode, and nearly every product on the planet has one. A barcode describes a product's dimensions, weight, and a number of other features that define the product. In my case, my barcode might describe me as a six foot four inch handsome Hall of Fame baseball star with a wry wit. Yeah. By designing a system that could read a barcode and capture the relevant data, System Group's engineers created a machine that knew what it was packaging. By knowing the exact dimensions of a product, the new machine dubbed the Freebox could make decisions about the optimal size and orientation of each box. Another benefit is that by optimizing the size of each box, the free box cuts down on the waste of raw materials while also saving space when it comes time to palletizing each product. System Group's designers decided that the free box should operate with only a single side of corrugated cardboard. By limiting the variety of the cardboard sizes, designers created greater flexibility throughout the system. This one-size-fits-all model was used to take the Freebox's efficiency one step further by making it autonomous. The Freebox was also designed knowing that not all products come fully assembled. To separate all of the components of a product, the Freebox needed to be able to create a parent box and a series of boxes that could fit inside of it. By creating a software package that could operate in a sub-multiples mode, Boxes created in the free box system could be divided any way a manufacturer would want. Once a hopper of boxes is loaded into the system, the operator can hit the on switch and for the next eight hours the machine will work on its own. This development makes it possible for the free box to operate even when a factory is closed. Fortunately for the engineers at System Group, they didn't have to design the free box system from the ground up. Engineers used an earlier automated packaging machine as a model for the Freebox and then designed new components where needed. By using models that had been previously created in Creo Parametric, engineers could clearly isolate systems that needed to be changed and they could rapidly modify parts. By integrating data with the packaging cycle, System Group's engineers were able to design a machine capable of cutting cost and time to market and smart enough to bring us one step closer to the robot apocalypse. You can see Creo Parametric, the same software that System Group used to design their free box system at ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric. If you like the show, please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.